This is November 2, 2022, Dividend Portfolio Update. I am happy to announce that we are tapped out. We are 4% cash after having held lots of cash for a very long time. Um, our current uh, return is sitting right at 3%. Um, I think that puts us on track uh, to meet our 10% uh, uh, return from last year. Uh, we really have to just see kind of where that goes. Uh, currently do not have any um, company in the consumer cyclical space. Uh, um, Rogers, Entergy, Enbridge, Coca-Cola, Merck, Paychex, Southern Copper, Corning, uh, Medical Properties Trust, and Regions Financial. Uh, with that being our largest holding at the moment. Take a quick look at our uh, performance over the last uh, while here. Uh, so in November, um, not quite 1%. Uh, I did take a little bit of a loss in October uh, due to a reorganization of one of our orphan uh, companies, uh, Annalee. They, they did a reverse split uh, meaning that the stock price is now uh, artificially higher. Uh, and so instead of 10 shares, uh, we only have two shares. And then we had to pay a $38 uh, fee because of that. So that put us into the, uh, the, the negative uh, for uh, October. But uh, I think we're fairly on track to do what we need to do. Uh, overall, you know, this is about, what, I think, six years of data. Uh, we're we're bringing in about 210 a month, uh, which puts us right at about 8% um, for the year. Over the last 12 months, however, we're bringing in uh, closer to 400. Uh, and then over the last three years, uh, just a little less than, than uh, 380, uh, roughly. Um, our, um, our beta, our standard deviation, uh, is still coming down, so that's really good. Um, but um, I kind of want to see that tick up, though. Um, I think with so much cash being employed right now, I think we will see uh, that tick up. Uh, if, if it gets closer to our three-year uh, number of 174, I won't be mad. Um, but I do like the fact that it's come down from the, the almost two and a half that it was uh, over the last year. Take a look at our holdings. All right, uh, again, uh, gen Genuine Parts Company was not able to um, to get a, uh, a position started there. Uh, and so, again, with not any cash uh, available to uh, to employ, probably just going to stay out of the, the, the cyclical sector uh, for the time being. All right, Rogers, uh, we are currently down about 15%. Also wanted to, to add to that position as well and was not able to. Um, but again, you know, we'll just have to kind of see how things kind of shake out. All right, Enbridge, uh, we're currently down uh, 8%, uh, 13% of our portfolio. Coca-Cola down 11%, so 10% portion of our portfolio. Merck, we're actually up uh, 23%. And at this point, I don't think that it will be in our benefit to sell out of this position. Um, I did talk about in a previous video, uh, Cardinal Health and CVS um, being maybe better um, buys at the moment, um, but because we don't have a lot of cash, um, my concern is uh, selling this position for cash, um, but still not having quite enough cash to enter the positions that we want to enter into. So going to hold off for now. Um, and it's a very small, small position for us, not even uh, 2%. So gonna hold off for now. All right, uh, Paychex uh, down almost 18%. Um, again, small position, only 2%. Uh, Southern Copper uh, down 7%, it's a 10% position. Regions Financial uh, down 15%, our largest uh, position. Uh, Corning down 18%, about a 12%. In position and then MPW um, 
not our largest holding, but we are down the most in MPW, almost 41%. Um, currently, the price is right about $11, and we're in at almost $19. Um, I do have to say, though, that we did make uh, quite a bit of money on the options uh, for this. So even though we are down, like I said, almost 41%, um, if you were to look at how much money we made on the options minus what we're down by now, it's not that bad. But uh, definitely uh, 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 excited about uh, this this company and its position. Uh, went through the call just recently and nothing much to say about it. Uh, they, they, they talked about, I think one of their uh, operators was having trouble in their hospitals in some other state, but MPW owns the hospitals in Utah, which aren't being affected by uh, the trouble that they're having in the other states. Other than that, all of their operators for their hospitals are, are doing really well. Um, they did sell some hospitals and looking to sell some more. So um, again, really excited about this position in this company. I do expect uh, that they will do well um, once things kind of turn around for that, that real estate sector. All right, Entergy, ETR, uh, we're actually up about 3% on this name. Um, uh, only a 3% uh, position size for us. Um, as this number creeps up to that 10%, uh, at that point, it may uh, start making sense for us to sell out of our positions that we're up on to generate some cash to then open up some new positions, uh, preferably uh, with options. And then wanna talk quickly about uh, our orphan uh, company, Annaly. Uh, we did have 10 shares, now we have two due to a um, due to a reverse split. I did also include the $38 fee in the uh, sales commission uh, for this particular company. So all in, uh, we actually own uh, this company for like $93, which is almost $42 a share. Uh, currently the stock price is only $20. Um, and so, I'm never sure why this thing is giving us a sales signal. Um, I think what may be happening is that the, the price, yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure. All I know is, is that we're definitely not up on this name at all. Um, and then um, SLVM, just because I talked about them in the previous video, uh, we're up uh, with almost 35%. But again, no plans to uh, to get rid of this uh, position. We'll just hold it. Um, it's only maybe, I don't know, 350 or something like that. You know, if we ever just needed $350, we, we can always sell uh, to get out of it. But definitely no plan on doing that. All right, I think that is it.